A few moments ago, I described these full-time protesters as morons. Perhaps you think I used a word that was far too strong. I suspect it should have been stronger because just a few moments ago in Sheffield, where we're in the first round of the World Snooker Championship, a match between Rob Milkins and Joe Perry, first round match was taking place, and this is what happened. Joe Perry, four. Well, I don't quite know what that was for. Well, for those for those listening to this on their car radio or in the kitchen, a just stop oil protester jumped on the snooker table and unleashed a wave of orange type powder. Goodness knows what the substance was in order to stop the game. And I'm told that at an adjacent table, another protester tried. In fact, you can see on the right hand side of the picture, a woman, I think, tried to do the same and the referee manhandled her out of the way. These people will stop at absolutely nothing to stop all normal life from going ahead. And we've got to think very hard how we deal with this. Are we going to allow this small, slightly crazed minority, we're going to allow them to disrupt every aspect of our national life and sporting life? I don't think we can afford to. I think we're going to have to get much, much tougher. In some cases, I can't blame them, really. You see, they've been told from primary school all the way through that because of people driving four-by-fours in Chelsea, the world is about to end. We have spread, among some of these young people, climate hysteria without any sense of balance whatsoever.